Well, the former Afghan president, Hamid Karzai, is reported to have met Taliban representatives for talks on forming a new government. That meeting included a leader of the militant Haqqani network who was sentenced to death in 2016 but later released. Mohammad Amir Grana is director of the Pakistan Institute of Peace Studies. I asked him what a new Afghan government might look like. Is the biggest worry right now, uh, not only in Kabul, but I think in the, in the uh, its immediate neighborhood, that how the Afghanistan will uh, s uh, stabilize itself without the resources. Maybe we are quite aware that the Biden administration had has freezed the, the, the reserves of Afghanistan. So th this could trigger uh, the other social conflict in Afghanistan. Uh, do you expect that women will be invited into government, uh, uh, perhaps uh, an opposition in parliament? How, how do you see that inclusivity? Maybe they have their own uh, uh, perspective on inclusivity. Uh, but right now, they will uh, bear all the uh, other uh, opposition voices because otherwise the, the Taliban will not get the legitimacy the right now they they uh, they need it but the major challenge is they are facing from within that they had came with the promise to establish a Sharia law right now they are facing the two kind of the opposition one to whom they can reconcile and they are the uh, their opposition political opponent and second is the this civil society in the country and this is the second segment is the most critical factor that how they will appease them and get agree or to build the consensus with them uh, we're getting reports of um, protesters being shot and people who are trying to leave being beaten, uh, it doesn't look terribly inclusive so far, does it? This is another challenge for the Taliban. Uh, their leadership, which was sitting in Doha, and right now they are trying to evolve the consensus in the country that how they will control the fighter in the streets. They may have the quite opposite uh, the mindset, the, the worldview. Uh, uh, so this is going to be a, one of the critical challenge and maybe this will hurt all their effort and they will have to be very careful when they are making the promises and they have to control the, the field commanders that they will not create the problems uh, for, for their leadership. How important will international recognition of a Taliban government be or is it possible they simply won't care about international recognition? Yeah, this is simple, that they can't run the affairs of the state without the international leg uh, legitimacy. And at the same time, they need the resources. And uh, right now, the Afghanistan is dependent on uh, the, the foreign aid, or maybe the informal economy, uh, the structure is mainly on the opium cultivation. So if they need to be stabilized, so this is they need the international support. 